Cheers. To make the posts level, they brought a laser level. Pretty cool. The fencing work for our doe enclosure continues in this video. But first, here's what I did while I was waiting for the guys from Northwest Landscape Care to arrive. A couple of years ago, a tree hit our fence. I had to completely rebuild part of it. Unfortunately, some of the four by fours that were cemented into the ground got knocked a little off square. Kind of see where it is right there. As soon as this post really sets up, we can finally correct that problem by screwing the fence to the post from the other side. We've broken up some concrete and are recycling it back into some of these other holes. Those concrete pieces have been out here for a very long time. I think since my Uncle Mike built the place. I found them in various places buried out here. That's the easy way to get rid of broken concrete. You just, you just bury it. So I suspect there may be more of it out here somewhere that I just haven't found yet. This is the last vertical post, and we're getting towards the end of the day. Tomorrow, we'll put in the cross pieces. All right, so there's the little jog that we're trying to fix. These posts have had time to really set up. We've got the cross supports in. 
so all three posts are going to help hold that thing in the ground straight while we clamp and squeeze the fence over to the hopefully more parallel. We may not get rid of all of it, but hopefully it'll correct it some. These are the screws we're going to use. Very heavy duty. We'll be going through the two by fours right into that round post. We tried using clamps to just squeeze the fence to the post, but that was not working so well. It was just pulling the post more than the, uh, the fence. So now we've got this ratchet system hooked up to the tree. We moved a board here so we could go right around this 4x4 four four that's the offending 4x4. Four four. And it's worked pretty well. Take a look at it now. Much better. Feels good to have that done. Wendy has been on a business trip and I'm really looking forward to having her back so she can see just how much we've got done out here. Actually, I really miss the home cooked meals, but really, I haven't been eating that badly. Cheers. It's early fall, and we do have healthy snacks in the garden still. After the fencing work today, I'm heading over to my dad's for dinner with him and my brother. Remember the video where we made this pile? It's shrunk. Slowly, I've been feeding branches to our goats and setting aside suitable branches for chipping and shredding. My dad uses a lot more firewood than we do. So I'm going to load this larger material in the truck for his use.
To make the posts level, they brought a laser level. Pretty cool. I want to leave the posts mostly tall, but some of them will be considerably shorter. Everywhere there's a gate, I want there to be short posts, so carrying things in and out, it doesn't knock into the posts. One right there, one right here, and one right here. I'm just going to leave this post tall, and this post tall to protect the buildings, and it'll have a little bit more of an open feel in this area. The rest of the enclosure will be a little more in keeping with the forest, with the tall poles, and eventually I'll probably be mounting custom birdhouses on a lot of these. It'll be nice. The tripod system isn't quite tall enough for these taller posts, so our system here is a little jury-rigged. We're going to try and not bump it. I'm not sure exactly how this thing works, but I think it's somehow self-leveling and they're doing some sort of a calibration procedure right now. We're matching everything up with this one post because it's the shortest of the tall ones that we're going to be doing. And then I believe everywhere within a direct line of sight, it can shoot a laser level line and we'll be able to know exactly where to cut all of those posts. Maybe it's an annoying sound, but it basically beeps when it's in the right spot and it'll tell you with arrows whether you have to go up or down. And then, and then you get a line and, line, yeah, and you right know there. that's right where to make your mark. These lower posts are all too short to match up with the level up there. So we're just going to leave them as tall as they are. Just five feet and... That'll be fine. Yeah. Yep. Five It'll get taller as it goes down. Okay. I think it'll be better to be level even if they do get a little bit taller as they go down. For the posts along the back here, it's pretty convenient to set the tripod up right on our stump. Most of the cross pieces will be parallel and will step down but right here, we've got kind of a steep slope. So we're gonna angle these straight down. We've got the string lined up to get the angle just right. Good. Figuring out how to cut these angles is a little tricky. It may be best I just, to, oh, sorry. just to eyeball the darn thing. Like, no, no, no. Got both edges touching the pole. And let's make it nice and parallel. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to Mark, this is the top. Oh, right, right, right. Let's say this is the top. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. We're going to try and join the marks by wrapping a string around what we were able to mark and to just follow it with a pencil. Okay. We did have extra on the other end, right? So yep, we can yep. always cut this again if we have yep. to. Yep. Seeing as how we're figuring this out as we go, I'm pretty happy with how this first angled post came out. After it's done, it looks like, how hard could that have been? But it was really tricky. Look at how nicely these line up, though. All right, this next one will just be parallel. Much simpler. I spoke too soon on just simple and parallel for this one. 
We tied a string just to see 48 to 48, the height of the fence. And the angle is just, again, too much. We're going to miss too much on one side and the other if we tried to make it actually level. This one might be a little tricky because we have a tree in the way. It's right up against it. We may have to We may have to just squeeze the tree a little bit that direction to make this work. Sometimes simple solutions are best. We just literally pulled that tree a little bit back and tied it to another tree, at least until the fence post is in. Well, this worked out really well. The tree has now been released and it's just touching the post. We're getting close to the end of the day, so obviously we're not gonna be able to finish all these cross braces, but we'll get a couple more in, I think, and Hit it again tomorrow.